In the mists and shadows, light shines through, as the brother's blade is made anew. But darkness looms and shakes the earth, as the sister proves her strength and worth. The hells ablaze and fire burns. Barovia's despair may yet return. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Curse of Strahd here <laughs> on the High Rollers Twitch. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and joining me... I summon thee. Uh, I summon uh, Rhiannon Gower, Tom <laughs> Hazel... Katie Something Morrison. went wrong with the summoning! <laughs> Chris <laughs> Trott and Kim Richards, Hello. who is very professionally running the stream today. Old Chris wow. Trott, he, he's, he doesn't know Retiring what to do with himself. He's out. Confident Faye. <laughs> I am so <laughs> confident <laughs> that how this is gonna happen. Yay! I'm so it's free. Fine. <laughs> Trott's trained you well. The, the Padawan has Woo. become the master. Uh, the apprentice has become the master. <laughs> <laughs> so violent! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I missed uh. that. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> welcome everybody. Welcome to an episode of Curse of Strahd. Um, not really any announcements that I need to announce, I don't think. Uh, Somebody will correct me if I've got anything. D&D celebration stuff? That's next week, I suppose we could mention it. Um, as a reminder, <laughs> next suppose. weekend... Um, well, I was going to do it like on Sunday and then it was going to be like a whole thing. But yeah, next next weekend um, is the D&D &D celebration. Um, so a bunch of streams all going on twitch.tv forward slash D&D. Uh, we will be doing our session on the Sunday at 4 p.m. UK time. So we're going to be an hour earlier than we normally are on Sunday. Um, Kim is also in a game on Saturday at what time, Kim? Four o'clock. So pretty much the Four o'clock as well. Yeah. Um, so you can check those out. Uh, they're going to be two celebration games. We're going to be doing some content from the new Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. We've got a very silly one shot plan for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really. <laughs> there might also. <laughs> the... <laughs> These two. On a... the... Yeah, okay. Ho, ho, yeah, ho. I forgot. I forgot temporarily what they were doing. Uh, there might also end up being a Knights of Evening Star game as part of that, which you can come and check out. We're still sorting the details of that out as well. Um, so you can come and check that out. Um, that's it. Uh, that's it from us. So that's I it. think just a little bit of a... Anything anything from anybody else before we get started? This is your chance. If there's anything you want to get uh, off your chest, man. anything you want to say? Yeah, or do it with my uh, hands? I, I'm not a big fan of Remark or Kim at the moment because of Monopoly on Tuesday. How dare that's all you? I got. That's how all I got. Dare you? Thomas, you lose Thomas, how dare you? Tell the game. To play, I you was the great level. I I bequeathed things to all three of you as I left the game. It is not my fault if you squandered you those resources. You bequeathed all over the place. It was <laughs> bequeathed <awful>. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I bequeathed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we did learn a very important lesson. The most common number you can roll on 2d6 is 7. Uh, and we mm -hmm. had a great time playing Monopoly. Um, it was a good time. That's it. It's a good Friends. time. That's all I got. That's it. Um, what are you doing with next week's Chaos Twins, Tom? Nothing. Literally nothing. There's no okay. Chaos Twins next Tuesday. <laughs> oh, there's no Chaos Twins next week. There you go. Okay. Uh, no, in that case, let us do a recap of what happened on the last episode of Curse of Strahd, and then we'll just jump into playing some D&D. Okay. You can do it, Kim. Intro incoming in three, two. Oh. The last time on the Curse of Strahd, our adventurers have traveled north, skirting around the edges of the Lackey to Lake Zarevich in search of a mad mage that Dog's body had heard screaming into the night. With the mountains rising up behind them, the team encountered this mad wizard. Clearly distraught by paranoia and trauma, he threatened the party and displayed immense magical powers. However, seemingly convinced for the time being that they are not a threat, the mage has invited the party to their mansion somewhere nearby. And that, my friends, is where we begin uh, the episode today. Uh, you are 
in the in the woods, deep within the woods, north of Lake Zarevich, you can still very faintly hear the lapping of the the lake against the shore. Um, but as you head further away and towards the mountains, the only sound is really the mutterings of the mage himself. Um, as you travel, not in response to any questions you say or anything, you constantly hear him chattering to himself. Oh, uh, uh, can we? Can they really be trusted? Perhaps this is all a scam. Uh, uh, it is no matter. Once they are in the mansion, uh, we will be safe. Yes, yes, yes. Much, much, much safer. It's not safe out here. Eyes and ears everywhere. Uh, 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 is that something? No continues rambling as uh, he makes his way through the woods, seemingly heading towards uh, the large mountains that loom over Barovia. Um, what would the, anything from the rest of from you guys? I think this is the guy. Just FYI. Just Tom saying that. <laughs> you reckon? The guy? What kind of guy? Yeah, what guy? Oh, just it seems like a wizard. Seems kind of mad, you know? We he is a definitely mad a mad mage. He calls himself a mage, though. Oh, wizard. Oh, shit. Let's turn around and leave then. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the guy. Wrong class. Guy. Sorry. Um, yeah, what's the out of here? <laughs> what's, what's everyone's vibe with all of this? Because the last thing that you saw was he attempted to cast some sort of spell on Xeros that failed. Um, uh, he did stop time briefly, it seems, uh, and used considerable magic. Uh, and he's just leading you deeper into the woods towards the mountains saying that he's going to take you to his mansion what's what's the vibe here uh extreme hesitance uh yeah one percent mm. optimism <laughs> um keeping my wits about me keeping him at a, a safe social distance but following okay, so you're letting him just move out front and staying behind two meters <laughs> yeah sure two meter we'll peter right here how many how many meters uh, in a feet? Hmm. Some. Uh, uh, so like I'm 152 four. centimeters, and that is five foot. So six foot five. How many centimeters in? Anyway, like, <laughs> why do you want it in feet? <laughs> I, I wanted to know in feet because that's what D&D is measured in, and I can only I can only understand right. distances in in a ranges of five foot squares. So I was like, how are you within melee range Just of him? Just under two within... squares. No. Okay, six, okay, so you're out of melee feet. range. You're technically out of the five foot right. uh, melee range. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh, longer than a Kim yeah. distance. Yeah. Okay. Way longer right. than a Kim. Most things are. It's like two. That's two Kims. Two Kims. Two Kims gets <laughs> like you out of melee Kims. range. <laughs> two Kims out of melee range. So. <laughs> like, exactly. It's exactly two Kims. <laughs> are you yeah. so you're just following there's no, nobody wants to do anything there's no you're just happy to just go um, where this man is taking you hey i i told you he was mad right i told you it's nice to know that it's not just me that's mad uh, there's other people that are mad around here he he is here right he is here i'm not just we're not just walking through the woods for, no he's here. he's here you're a saner he's than he's him here. he's here good, good. are you all right so dragon boy he had you in that thing you all right he also wonderful. blasted him with lightning at one point. Oh yeah, he did. I forgot about that. What's my health at? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. Yeah. Uh, sure. The the woods, uh, you are travelling at night, and the woods around you are full of long, dark shadows. There is no moon. The the night here is nearly pitch black. Um, the mage has conjured some sort of small glowing sphere that he's using to navigate, but that only serves to extend and twist the shadows as he moves ahead of you. The, the branches, the rocks, everything here seems to twist into a mangled form of itself in the dark shadows. Tree branches become clawed hands stretching across the ground, reaching towards you like a murderous grip. Oh, pleasant then. Uh, it is Barovia. I will yeah. tell Dog's oh, yeah. body that despite our hesitation on this person, he is very powerful and can probably hear everything we're saying. So, 
if we want to maybe get on his good side, we should respect him. Oh, all right, all right, yeah. Uh, cool guy, looks really strong and muscly. Uh, really flex, mad flex, attractive too. Really attractive. Right. Handsome. Doesn't seem to draw his attention. Uh, he continues just muttering. You kind of hear <laughs> just, uh, 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 these more of your agents, Strahd. Uh, are they illusions? Uh, shadowed assassins to kill me? Have you finally come to finish what you started? No, no, no. No, they do not. They do not seem to be threats. But perhaps it's that is their trick. Perhaps that is it. We will. We will find the mansion. And then, then we will be safe. Yes, yes. Yes, the mansion, yes. It's not far now. Come, speed. It's of the essence. Yeah, I'm gonna follow. Sure. Yeah. Um, he leads you without and a half feet still. away, keeping yeah. a distance uh, a little bit. But yeah, there are no further events, um, and within about an hour or so of travelling, you can see the mountains now fully rising up. The forest begins to thin out, and the terrain begins to steep upwards, and you can see these immense snow-tipped mountains uh, kind of looming above you all, uh, above the forest canopy. And the Mad Mage leads you to a small, um, not quite a valley, but almost like a a series where parts of the rocks have, have collapsed um, and have formed uh, kind of a small divot um, into the mountains themselves. And he leads you to what appears to be a dead end. He's like, yes, yes, here it is, the mansion. Ha, 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 finally, finally, my mansion is here. Yes, a safe, safety, yes. No more eyes and ears to pry upon us. Ha, 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 yes. Look upon it, look upon it and be amazed. Wow, that is like some prime real estate, mate. I'm, I am amazed. Yeah, yes, you should be. Now come, enter. And he points to a flat chunk of rock that just is part of the mountains. After you? No, 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 you must enter first. I do not wish to be... Uh, what if you leave? What if you run? What if you are illusions? No, I wish. I wish. I wish to know that you are real. That you you step inside my home. Yes. The door is open. You may enter. It's rock. I expect nothing. What? No. This is the door to the mansion. Enter. And he just points at the rock. Dog's body will just shrug and walk forward and kind of close his <laughs> eyes just before he hits the rock like yeah okay. yeah um dog's body you walk through and you keep your eyes closed and there is a moment as you're kind of walking forwards where everything seems to suddenly there is a kind of warmth um the cold air disappears and is just the kind of you can almost hear the crackling of a fire you can hear the shuffling of servants feet the smell of food um, very quickly assails your senses. Uh, kind of roast pig and fresh bread and wine. Uh, all sorts of things just kind of overwhelm your senses. To the rest of you, Dog's body walks through the mountain. He walks through the rock, phasing through it as if it's, it's not like there. It's like platform nine and three quarters. You just got to have a good run at it. No, there you go. <laughs> Harry Potter nerd. Yeah. I, knew, I knew Harry Potter nerd would be well in. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, how we we just got to run through the platform. Um, <laughs> wow. Some sort of yeah, illusion. So what do the rest of you do? To hide you from Strahd's agents. Uh, you know nothing. It is conjuration magic. Enter the mansion. He just gestures Very well. in the direction that uh, your smelly through. friend has already entered. Yep. Going I in. will yep. also do the same. Yeah. Uh, Irina slash Tatiana and his mark will follow. Uh, the Mad Mage looks in the Dragonborn's direction. Especially you, large one. <laughs> We're not going to get along, are we? <sighs> ah! Good. <laughs> 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 Yeah, okay, fucking mad man. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, all of you now experience the same thing. As you step through the rock, a sense of warmth, dryness, um, uh, the crackling of a fire, uh, the gentle, like, almost like a smell of perfume or incense um, uh, mixes with the, uh, the smell of a feast, a banquet. Uh, full of, of the finest foods and drinks um, uh, appears before you. Those of you who don't have your eyes closed, you see that you step into a literal mansion. Uh, those of you who are familiar with the Forgotten Realms, which all of your characters would be, um, it has the appearance of a, of a, a manor house in Waterdeep. Um, rich, luxurious woods, uh, polished stone floors, tapestries that display the heraldry of places like Luskin, Neverwinter, Cormir, uh, dot around. You can see that there are cabinets full, full of strange antiquities, books of history and knowledge and magic, um, all scattered around this mansion. And before you is an, a long, elongated wooden dining table that is stacked with all sorts of foods, anything you can imagine. Cakes, roast pig, fresh breads, cheeses, everything is laid on. Um, and all of it is being managed by these floating, almost elemental-like creatures. They have uh, almost uh, like suits of armor, but infused with elemental powers. Some of them have flames. Some of them seem to be encrusted with gemstones. They have vaguely humanoid features, um, but they're quite androgynous. They're quite um, difficult to uh, see their detailed features. Um, but they silently just go around the room. They pull out chairs, one for each of you. Drinks are poured. Um, the mage actually kind of offers his cloak to one of them, who takes it and hangs it up uh, next to the door. Uh, and then he rubs his balding head. The mage, uh, to give him a description, by the way, he wears these kind of very um, stained and dirty red robes. And you can see he's quite thin, but he has a bald head. He has a black goatee. He looks a little bit like Ming the Merciless. Um, he's got very long eyebrows that almost come off his head uh, and kind of float down. Um, uh, he looks at you, Ward, and it's just like, Welcome uh, to my mansion. And this is my home. <sighs> and it is my home. It is under my control. Know this, uh, strangers, that if you plan to harm me, I can simply eject you from this place, leave you to the mercies of the wilds and of Strahd. So you must behave. <laughs> <laughs> we intend to thank you for graciously inviting us to your home. I have not. I have invited you here so that I can decide whether you are my enemy or not. You have spoken pretty words. You have used magic to perhaps try and convince me, but I am smarter than that. I know that there are ways to ways to trick the mind, to uh, create falsehoods, but you have not attacked me yet. And so I have decided to allow you a moment within my home. Time for me to think. Time for me to to remember why I am here, why you might be here. And then I will decide. <laughs> Until then, you may eat. You may rest. Know this. If you wish to, if you are servants of Strahd, you will have no way of speaking to your master here. His eyes cannot see within my walls. His ears cannot hear my words or the words of those within my home. He has no power here. <laughs> and then he just sort of shuffles off and wanders <laughs> off as if suddenly remembering something. I think up, up until this you. point, Dog's body is just dribbling, like at the sight of the food, <laughs> he's just dribbling and almost like quivering slightly kind of just waiting to, mm -hmm. for like polite company um and then as soon as like it seems acceptable that he could he's just gonna dive into the food and just yeah. be like yeah ah! <laughs> yeah and the thing is dog's body as you start eating it like as soon as you finish a meal like a dish like even if you're scooping it with your hands these uh, kind of elemental spirits appear next to you they bring like a napkin they wipe your face or like your hands <laughs> if they've given a moment they pour you drink a huge tankard of like a frothing ale is poured oh. for you um as soon as one plate is finished another one just appears oh. they just bring it to you and lay it down 
He's um, just crying. He's crying anything. and eating, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, I must be dead because I am so happy. This is heaven. Oh, come here! And I like he tries to hug one of the elemental spirits, but still eating a chicken leg. I. <laughs> it, it doesn't resist. It, it does have a kind of physical form. It, you can kind of almost, it feels slightly amorphous, like you could almost squish it, um, like a kind of jelly substance. Um, but it, it doesn't bother, it doesn't seem to be affected by the hug, it just kind of lets you hug it. it You're my best friend! You You're my best friend! Oh, I'm so hot, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I guess it's going to be a bit more cautious, like pick up an apple or something and really inspect it and see if there's any trickery going on here. I mean, without any ability to like detect magic or anything like that, it looks like... I can like... detect magic, so I'll, I'll do that. Did you want to cast that? Yeah. Sure. Um, this is definitely... This, this food has been created by magic. Um... I look up the spell now. Uh, <laughs> so uh, just to check what kind of uh... sense the presence of man. Ah, uh, the the feast of yeah. heroes, perhaps. Ah, uh, yeah. It, it is not a feast <laughs> of heroes. No, no, it is I not don't a think feast he wants of to heroes. Buff us. I'm not that kind. Um, that would yeah, be. you know that first of all. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, this whole place, Jesper. This whole mansion is conjuration magic. It's not that it has conjuration magic <laughs> in it. It is made of conjuration magic. It's not so bright that it's overwhelming, but you almost like seeing like when Neo sees the Matrix, you can see <laughs> the walls and the magic that they're formed from. The whole thing is conjuration magic. The food, conjuration magic. The servants, conjuration magic. That said, the food is real. It has real nourishment. It has real sustenance. Um, it does not. You don't get any hint of any sort of like magical poison or infections or anything like that. Um, it does look real, basically. Um, I'll, I'll communicate that to everybody in case they're all wondering. Such mm -hmm. such power, this this man wields everything here, all conjured by him. You're saying it's we you're saying be, that the food is safe, Jesper. It's, it's as nourishing as any any real food. Please, we may <laughs> never get this chance again. I was going to say it's we've been eating rations on the road for a long time. I know I'm well I'm struggling to not dive in as Dog's body has. Perhaps we should take this moment Just to eat and get our strength. We should. I was worried of uh, some sort of trickery. <laughs> but no, it seems no. good. Uh, Clearly nods, Dog's uh, body it... doesn't worry. <laughs> well, Dog's you see Irina looks over and this uh, kind of like smiles at Dog's body is like well, he has not uh, fallen dead, or he has not collapsed or fallen over dead or in some enchanted stupor, so <coughs> it seems safe. Uh, perhaps some indigestion he will have to suffer with. Uh, <laughs> That's very convincing hiccups. <laughs> Does, is he really literally like throwing up so he can eat more, or no, is it just like. Just, no, well, okay. maybe like, you know, when you've eat, had too much and you have a little vomit burp and you're just like. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I need to stop, and then no, 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 no. yeah, uh, yeah. Is, is Mark yeah, and I'm... Irina will head over and start sampling things as well. And this table's so huge, and there's so much food on it um, that yeah, it, it, they you, they just take their time, sort of picking at pieces and and slowly amounting I'm food. I'll that shit. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going in. Yeah, yeah. Rose, Zeros, Ziki, same thing. Just all gonna sort of help yourselves. Are there, yeah. Are there yeah. windows in here? There are not windows. Any windows that okay. are there have curtains drawn over them. Right, okay. Do you think this is really safe yeah. from Strahd, a sanctuary? I mean, he's, he said Strahd's never been in here, right? He's been safe this whole time. I'd like to believe that, to some extent. He is powerful. Maybe a true enemy of Strahd. We just need to make sure his memory, his mind, doesn't turn on us. Yes. We must also we still we can trust him. Keep our wits about us. I have never seen anything safe in Barovia, truly, from Strahd or any other evil. So, enjoy. 
better than the monastery. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. All right. I'll go go to Dragon Town. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there is any any sort of drink that you could want. You know, wine, ales, water, anything basically that you could possibly really want from a huge nobles feast um, is on offer. So you can enjoy. And this is perhaps the first time that you have enjoyed a full, hot, fresh meal that hasn't had some twist of Barovia to it. You know, even the rations here, you're constantly having to check them for, you know, rot and maggots and things like that. Um, you know, it becomes a... Uh, Ismark has become quite adept at kind of, like, making sure that he checks the supplies regularly. But with this, there's... Everything is fresh and hot and flavorful. You know, everything else here is dulled. Um, the food tastes quite bland and, and heartless. This tastes like it has been poured with love and attention to detail. Um, the fire is warm. It is dry. It is bright. There is, you know, bright lantern light that fills the entire place. It is probably the brightest place you have been um, without the, the aid of the, the sword of sunlight, without the sunblade's light. Um, yeah. And yeah, you guys. I what it, color looked like? Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Reds, greens, Where blues. Is... Oh. Glancing around for the mad mage. Where is he? He's not here. He he has seemingly he's not in this dining room. You don't know where he's gone. I might um get up with like a chicken wing in my mouth <laughs> or whatever, and just start doing a cursory glance at all the, the textbooks and mm. libraries of things of what they're about, what sort of subject matter is here. Sure, yeah. Uh, the books, it takes you a bit of time because there are so many. Um, and what is in display, and this is kind of like, you're looking at like the display cabinets of like, oh, look at my dining room, look at all my cool stuff that I have. But it doesn't take long before you glance down a corridor because this place has corridors leading off from it's not just this one room there are corridors there are doors and looking down one of the corridors it seems to lead into an expansive library um you can even see what appears to be a rotating model of different spheres all kind of moving around each other and rings kind of all kind of turning around um but the books on display, the ones that you can see, they are histories of the Forgotten Realms. You can see books like the History of Neverwinter, uh, the Noble Houses of Cormir, um, treaties of the uh, of the Red Wizards of Thay. There's just all sorts of Faerun information here. Um, the Adventures of Elminster of Shadowdale, um, the the Dark Elves of Menzo Baranzan, like all of these different sort of topics are covered in these books. There's also a large section. A lot of the book seems to deal with magic, you know, theories of conjuration magic, um, the principalities of evocation, and uh, the art of elemental flame. Blah 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 blah. Like all of these kind of like magical theory books and stuff like that. Um, very impressive collection. Very very powerful. Well, sort of. You know, this is the kind of thing that a very grand wizard would have. This is only this person's collection. It's quite the collection. This person is either an avid collector or extremely intelligent and powerful. I just well, say we've that seen the power this already. Old. It's definitely a a good ally if we can keep on his right side. I just hope that we can talk to him and he remembers something useful. Or a way to help him and his mind, perhaps. All, we might all these not books be powerful that... enough. Everything here, it's all, so it's all conjuration. So, does is this all in his memory? Does he have all this information in these books? Is this, does he have this knowledge to conjure these books? Um, with detect magic, are the books themselves mm -hmm. and the objects are they real or are they also? They are conjurations magic. as well. These are not real things in this place. This whole place, everything here, has been created by magic. Um, 
you suspect that maybe if you took these books out, they might be blank. You're not sure if they'll actually have any written information in them, but the positions of them, the titles of them, they've clearly been pulled. Yeah, they've probably been created. If this mage has made this place, these are likely memories of a real place. He's probably based this mansion on a place where he actually lives to create it. It's the kind of, you know, he's fabricated it from something that he knows. Um, I'll just pass Yeah, it's his mind Ziki. palace. <laughs> um, it's, in it's incredible, the detail, the extent of what he must know. And it's it's more it's than, like as mind. I said, this, this room is just one room. You can see down the hallway there appears to be a grand library. There are paintings along the, the corridors. Um, there are stairs that lead up to other another floor of, of rooms up here. Um, seems to be even more expansive. It's just the fucking... Just sometimes D&D, &D, right? It's just like, I wish I had that power. Yeah. yeah. So it's so cool, freaking right? cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is a cool spell. Love that. It's a very cool spell. I'd probably fuck it up and like just do it all wrong, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just create like a cube, a metal cube with a whole It's always been one of my things where like, you know, if you had the like the oh you could you know, if you had a wish or if you could wish for superpowers, I'd be like, I wanna be a twentieth level wizard from D D and have all the spells in the player's handbook and I can cast them as many times as I want. Yeah. Because you could just be yeah. fucking everything. You could do whatever the fuck you wanted. Um Yeah. It's so cool. cool. Yeah. It's cool shit. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So the, the Mad Mage kind doesn't... of an illusion. Yeah, yeah. It, the Mad Mage doesn't reappear. Um, the the figures, the elemental figures. Any of you who have um, like torn or dirtied clothing, <laughs> they come up and they sort of um, or they bring you a set of very basic kind of. I wouldn't call them like a gown or anything like that, but like a basic tunic and trousers. And they, they offer them in one hand and then they tug at your sort of like tattered, ruined clothing in the other. Um, so all what? of them went to Dog's Body. <laughs> yeah, like what? what yeah, Dog's what, Body what? for sure. They, they are like, they're like tugging at your clothes and they're offering you these other clothes. What happens to Dog Body who's also now just covered in dirt and grease and, and food debris all over his beard and chest hair <laughs> and he's just one big greasy dirty mess at this point in I think time. one of them is offering you a hand as well so while they have like one offering you clothes the other one is tugging on your dirty clothes one of them is like making a come with me gesture like hey what well, uh I don't I don't swing that way darling uh what uh hello can I just I want more chicken uh, L. yeah they, they bring you a plate of chicken they, they literally pick one up and offer it to you so I'm just I'm so I'm just eating more chicken as the I guess they're tugging on my clothes. I'm like, uh yeah. I don't know what's going on. It looks like they're trying to clean your clothes and you. One All of them of nods uh, in in Rose's direction, they nod. Um, and one of them makes uh, okay. one that seems to be kind of covered in coral and um like seaweed, um begins sort of like just like Almost like as if miming washing itself. I've never known such kindness in my life. <laughs> Just break, full on breakdown. <laughs> full on nervous breakdown. At least, you on the shot. not offended. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go wherever they want to take me to clean me. Yeah, and... if, if, if you follow them, they lead you to a bathhouse, like a kind of indoor Roman style bath where it's all stone tiles. There is warm water um there are like bottles of like perfumes and lotions oh um they Gosh, if you come if back you, if you like un gorgeous i know yeah well if you if Shining. you undress dog's body like His they hair give is you they set out so like luscious. a yeah. yeah they set out like a spare pair of like these um clothes and then they take all of your dirty clothes and take them away um, all your equipment, them. they take it away. Um, but yeah, one of them stays in the in the bathhouse and like helps like wash and like you know comb your hair and wash your back and things like that. <laughs> yeah, they 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 literally are like bathing you and and look pampering you. Comb your back wow. hair. Um, yeah, well, yeah? it's very hairy back there. Um, <laughs> I I think are they trying to take my axe though? Uh, how is it dirty? Probably, yeah. I haven't yeah, maintained yes, they it. Will, they 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 will ah. they'll go to pick it up. Yeah. Ah. They look at you. Ah, wh where are you taking it? They place it. They place it down and just bow their heads. Yeah. All right. Just don't. Yeah. No. No. Thank you. 
But no, that stays with me. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I guess, yeah, as though washing me. Doc's body is just going through something. He's just crying for a few, thanking them. Like, if you, if you guys can hear in the next room, you'll just hear lots of splashing. Like, lots and lots of splashing. Um, while dogs, but, but also, like, sobs of dog's body just crying, but also just saying thank you, like, about a million times. Like, thank you. And they never <laughs> respond. You. They never oh. speak. They just sort of nod their head patiently, sort of like, you know, they bow their heads whenever you say thank you, but then they just go about their duties, yeah. whether it's washing your back or whether it's, um, yeah, doing anything else. Um, the bars nails. are big enough for more than just one as well. Like, these bars are massive. It's like a proper sort of communal... Um, massive bath there's water um, everywhere yeah I've splashed it everywhere <laughs> is mark is mark will probably be well i'm not going to say no it's been a while since we've been able to get clean we've been on the road a few days uh i might wait till yep. dog's body's finished though oh get in <laughs> here friend <laughs> no i don't want your hair all over me dog's body no offense no. <laughs> Still. Oh yeah, if anyone comes in the room, by the way, Dog's body is very comfortable being naked, and you being naked yeah. doesn't care. Not in a pervy <laughs> way, but just in a very like. But he just doesn't care. care about it. Yeah, don't care. Yeah, Clothes sure are an option. Um, like you know, yeah. it's like Geraltling it up. Just yeah, uh, proposed. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. Little, little flannel on my head. Like yeah. Drink that was in care more. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if anyone wants to join nudity, don't worry about it, mate. Feel free to get as naked as you want. <laughs> yeah, his yes, mark is more concerned. Yeah, it's just gross. Is this Kim talking or dog? Oh, body this is very much Kim talking. <laughs> I. <you know. laughs> is is Jesper bathing or is Jesper also waiting for dog's body to be finished? Uh, no, Jesper will bathe. He's yeah. lived a life intense and uh, on the move a lot, so he doesn't really care. He's happy to no kind of like uh, get yeah. clean, for sure. Yeah, no, and they'll do the same thing, Jesper. Um, any equipment or like clothing that you leave that's dirty, they take away unless you say no. Uh, they'll leave it if you otherwise. Um, and yeah, like a fresh pair. And it's just like a loose kind of, you know, something that a guest of a noble might wear, like a loose tunic and, and trousers and a pair of like slippers um, are left for you uh, after you finish. Nice. Um, there's, yeah, all said sorts of like incenses and lotions for washing bodies and hairs and uh, combs. Um, everything you could need really is provided. I might request from one of the uh, servants that are. Taking stuff from me, uh, mm -hmm. it just looks and bows its head. Provide, can you provide me the tools to clean my own swords, and I will leave them here. They you. nod. They nod. Yes. Oh. Um, within a few moments, they bring back. Um, uh, they probably wouldn't leave it in the bath. They probably have like they ex they point outward. Um, and in the hallway, they have left a small whetstone. Like, they've left, like, a small little stool with a whetstone or bottle of oil and cleaning rags um, all on the stool. Um, and there's two sets. There's one for you, and then there seems to be ones for Dog's Body's axe as well. Nice. Um, nice. I'll uh, I'll take all of our weapons, mine and Dog's Body. Do you mind? Yeah, yeah, all right. Keep me yeah. busy for a bit. I'll start uh, treating... All the weapons. Sure. Just take my time sure, with it and yeah. sharpening them up. Yeah. In the corner. Can you sharpen yours? Sharpen eh? point of a rapier. Yeah. Oh, rapier. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah. Oh, the sun sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sun sword. Yeah. I've got the yeah. dagger too. <laughs> pretty much you can do with that. Um, but the dagger uh, and the rapier you can certainly sure. take care of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what's everyone yeah, else doing? Cool. So, dogs, while Dog's Body and Jesper are bathing, um, Ismark probably will eventually join if he sees Jesper and Dog's Body. Um, so it kind of leaves Xeros and the girls. <laughs> the, everyone else. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna, uh, I was gonna ask for an armory, but if they've literally left shit outside the bathroom, then I'll just grab some of that and start. Uh, I mean, it, know, any if you ask them for well. anything, they provide it. So like suit, like yeah, if you ask for like things to clean your weapons and armor. They provide it to you, like oil for greasing up chainmail, um, you know, cloth, uh, cloths and oils, whetstone, anything you need. They provide. Um, cool. He who grins, like, uh... the the edges have not got any duller. He who <laughs> grins does not need cleaning or sharpening. Uh, not sharpening. I could use like, some cleaning. It's got some blood on it and bones. <laughs> no, um, any any blood on no? it doesn't remain. It's, it is unnaturally mm. clean. This sword. Nice. I'll go with some yeah. armor treatment in that case, and I'll like scoop off a chunk of the table. The food just. 
piled it further into the middle and clean an area so I can like take off my armor and start uh, sure. cleaning that up, repairing it, and whatever else. Yeah, sure. Yeah. One of the one of the elemental servants will like a, a rocky kind of one. You can see it almost has like geodes of like iron and stuff like that sticking out of it. It patiently waits at your side, and whenever you need somebody to hold something to like get at a tricky point, or if you need something hammering in, it takes care of that for you. It just takes it and like holds it or like hammers it for you um, to keep it in place. <laughs> I imagine it's a really slow, awkward relationship, but towards the end, he's like. Dancing around the table with him, like hammer this bit, yay! <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, I understand how it works, but towards the end, it's like, yeah, I love this dude. He's awesome. Geo <laughs> dude. Geo yeah, dude. Oh my god. Geo dude. Geo Geo dude. Nice. Um, what about um, Rose Ziki? I think she would probably wait to bathe until mm -hmm. the others had gone um, right. and then she she would go and bathe and mm -hmm. similarly clean her own weapons um, mm -hmm. definitely she'll, she'll probably start doing that before she goes in and bathes mm -hmm. washes her hair yeah they give you the like wax out. for the bow so. and stuff like that um, and yeah yeah same thing Irina would probably like potentially join you unless you don't want anybody to join you um, but she'll probably come Rose in with you as well I think would be fine with She'd probably fi be fine with Zeke or Arena joining her. She just Irina. doesn't particularly want the dudes. Wants to go in with any of the any of the dudes. To <laughs> what be the hairy dudes? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. She's probably quite private, uh, so. Yeah, yeah. I think Irina's actually somewhat similar as well. Like she doesn't want to go in. Uh, she'll happily go in with Rose and Zeke, but yeah, the same thing. Um, and yeah, basically anything you guys. Yeah, this is a moment of incredibly pleasant piece where you are not bothered there is a I think Irina whilst you're bathing kind of properly lets out a long sigh this is perhaps the safest I have felt in centuries it's, it's hard to explain but for the first time it's like I don't have eyes watching me I don't have that prickling sensation at the back of my neck it tells me that danger is just around the corner. This is the first place that I've I felt... Oh, I feel like I'm not in Barovia anymore. Feels like home. Well, that tells me that this, this person is probably someone we definitely need to get on our side. I, I don't, know don't know how we can we help can him. Do. Do, you, do you know if there's any way we can help his mind? I'm afraid that that sort of knowledge is beyond me, Rose. I I'm not very skilled in things like magic or divinity, uh, uh, things like that. I, I know songs, I know music. Um, there were tales of, of old songs, uh, magic, bardic magic, that could help restore those that had been cursed or had had these sorts of inf uh, madnesses placed upon them but uh, it's not something that I can do and it's not, I'm, I don't know of anyone in Barovia that could do it perhaps the abbot of Kresik would be the only one I think powerful enough um, unless there mm -hmm. is some, perhaps a more mundane way of fixing his mind perhaps we need to understand more about why he is here what it is he does not seem to be of Barovia. He is more like you and your companions. Why did he come here? To what purpose? Perhaps there is a secret to the madness in that. Maybe it's just a case of asking the right questions to him. Perhaps. I fear that if we ask the wrong ones, though, it may trigger more of his paranoia. He does seem to be very guarded. Um... I think if we're honest with him, he'll be honest back. If we show him some of our vulnerability, our experience, tell him of that, maybe he would reciprocate? Maybe it would give him more trust in us? Yes, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, she kind of looks over. Ezekiel, are you with them? With, 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 with who? With who? Are, are you, sorry, are you, this is Mark asking Zeke as... as oh, Dungeon sorry, Are yeah. you with Irina and Rose is what I Yes, mean. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Rose will probably look over to you and Zeke and be like, what, what do you think, Zeke? 
Uh, I know that you have some uh, magic that can heal and things like that. Is this anything that you you know of? Do you have any ideas? <sighs> Honestly, I don't. I don't think he trusts me. He he mentioned before with Xeros with, with me. He knows he knows about us. Mm, like Rose said, I I think the best idea is to be honest. Well, I know what we did wasn't right, but we didn't do it to hurt anyone. Yes, Hopefully think, he can understand that. I think he thinks, he seems, and understandably, he seems to think everything is a threat. That we all work for Strahd, that we are being sent to trick him, to attack him. Such things Strahd is capable of. I'm sure he's done it to many others in the past. Perhaps that is our approach. We need to prove that we are enemies of Strahd, that we don't have any affiliation with him, perhaps. Yeah. Still. At least it's nice to have this that? moment of quiet. I, I'm afraid I we don't could... know. Perhaps we something to discuss with everyone. We can tell him our experience everyone. here. Yes. We can tell him, obviously, we have... We've lost someone to him I just, since we've been here. I feel I don't that know words how alone... Best... Yeah. I think that words alone might not be enough to convince him. If his madness is full paranoia, uh, well, uh, I think that we need to find a way to show, to prove what our mm. words are. Uh, I think that just explaining things alone might not be enough. We have the sword. At that least that's something. some physical proof. Uh, no servant of Strahd's would carry a weapon like that, I believe. So perhaps that, that may do something. Uh, still, perhaps we will find out more about our strange host uh, you know, later on. He seems to have vanished for the time being. Uh, I say we make Maybe he's resting. Moment. You're not there. <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah. I forgot. This is Lady Time. <laughs> They're in the tub room. Uh, but, however, we will throw it over to um, Dog's Body and Jesper and Xeros. Is Mark. What are you guys doing? So, once you guys have finished bathing and sort of getting changed into these provided clothes, um, what's, what's going down? I worked exclusively on my armor, and I sat in that room on my own with Rocky Boy. <laughs> Right, yeah. Um, once everybody stops <clears throat> eating Xeros, that table is cleared within minutes. Um, just dozens of these servants come and just clack carry the plates of food away, and they just whoosh, everything is whisked away. I think I pretty much like sit in the corner with my sword and armor on, like on full attention. <laughs> and I guess after like a long amount of time, I'm like, this chair's pretty comfy. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's nothing happening. There's no noise. There's no threat. Like, it's it's as safe as it seems that yeah. I slowly start to like just rest back and just like close my eyes um, okay. for the duration of the time that I've got some silence away from these jokers <laughs> wow <laughs> so you just you're like the kid who goes into another room at a house party and just sits in the corner quietly and is like I didn't think I'd be attacked today, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was that kid, so it's not yeah, an attack on you. Yeah, that I'm was me too. Myself. That was, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. that was me too. Yeah. You got invited? I bet Chris Trot was the type <laughs> who stood in the kitchen and talked to everybody. I bet he was a cool guy. Prick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, yes. What do you say? What do you say? Gonna... Like? Nothing. Yeah, what's Jesper doing? I'm going to roleplay. Jesper is going to find some parchment if there is any yeah he's basically testing the boundaries of this place he's going to get some okay. parchment if there's any writing yep. utensils he's going to yep. lay it out on the table that's recently cleared and try and draw as best he can from memory the map of barovia and where okay. we are so when you been. go looking for the parchment um one of the servants does kind of not block your way, but they very quickly come to you as you start exploring the mansion, trying to find parchment. Um, and they look at you as if to say, like, what What do you want? What do you need? I'll, I'll get it for you. Writing implements. I need to make a map. Nods, flies off within a few moments, comes back and gives it to you. Thank you. And then as you... Everything you here. It kind of makes a sort of gesture. It kind of does this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm, 
Do you so, have gold? Treasures? Right. Very well, thank you. Uh, and I'll lay out the map and start drawing it mm -hmm. best I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you sketch out a map of Barovia. Yeah, 100%. Nice. How good is it? <laughs> I mean, how good is Jesper at drawing maps? You tell me. He's... It's crazy, right? <laughs> he can draw it almost 3D, and he knows exactly where we are and where we need to go. Yeah. It's almost like it looks like a map of Barovia as featured in the Adventure Guide Curse of Strahd. <laughs> yeah, and weirdly enough, yeah, he knows the inside and in outside hexes. of Ravenloft. He hexes all of the parchment <laughs> first and then draws it's the only it way in. you can keep things accurate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Weird. It's the only way you can get the scale right is to have the hex map there. Um, but yeah, no, you can, you just, you can draw you know, out yes, really nice... Well. Uh, you can draw out a really nice map. Um, the parchment is high quality, the ink, easy to use. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I can't wait to take this with me. I, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. It'll be great, really useful when you go back outside. <laughs> yep. Yes, but does um, it anyway, because he's testing. So, everybody who... Um, pretty much everybody... Things like... You kept your weapons, I'm assuming. Everybody made that kind of clear that they were going to keep their weapons on them. Yeah. But things like um, clothes and equipment, that was all taken away to be repaired or cleaned or whatever like that. Um, so you guys mostly have these kind of provided clothes for you. Um, the servants, the kind of elemental servants, bring more drinks. Um, they can bring you hot, non-alcoholic drinks. They can bring you alcoholic drinks. Um, but they eventually try and kind of gesture for you for you to follow them again. They, they kind of make these kind of gestures. Can I just say that at, assembled. at this point, Dog's body. Mm -hmm. So Dog's body has been napping in front of the fireplace once he was done. Okay. Um, yeah. But he looks like you know Beauty and the Beast when the Beast gets cleaned up and he has like really curly hair with a little bow. Mm -hmm. That's what he looks like. He looks like that, yeah. and he's got a shirt, <laughs> but it's it, he doesn't know how to deal with buttons. So like it's, so just, it's just kind like of like open. it's still yeah with big, and and the curls on like you know the hairy chest that has a little bow on it as well. Okay. Who's yeah. put the bow there? Dog's body. Dog's body did. That's fine. I just need to check. Um, yeah. Can't Dog's body button. looks... Can tie a bow. What? Tie a rope? <laughs> tie a bow? Can't do yeah, a button. Yeah, it's like though, a tie, tie a rope. Tie a bow. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same yeah. thing. Buttons, though. <laughs> fiddly. Um, and I think, like, yeah, Dog's body looks like a completely different person, right? Like, being completely cleaned up. Smells you know, having food different. in their belly smells very different. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys kind of see this transformation almost. Um, and it's kind of the same for Ismark in a lesser sense in that, you know, he's, you know, been on the road for a few days now. You know, he's shaved. He's kind of, you know, pulled his hair back. Um, he's washed up quite nice. Um, and again, you've just got this kind of like sense of for the first time, you know, people have had a chance to get clean and eat, eat well and be safe for a moment. Um, but yeah, the elemental servants all try and guide you towards a parlor, um, a separate room to the dining area. This one features large plush leather chairs with thick cushions um, in amongst this enormous library. Another fireplace is lit, um, the curtains are drawn, and at the center of the room is this sculpture, which appears to be... Uh, I guess it, the best way to describe it would almost be like a pl like a, a map of the, like a kind of thing of the solar system, like a planetary map, but it's made from thick bronze rings that all spin. Um, but rather than being planets, you can see that at the very center there is a single orb with uh, draconic runes written over it. Then it extends to there are two smaller spheres that move around the central orb. Then there is one large ring around both of those that spins on a top axis. And then finally an outer ring that spins on a diagonal axis around the whole thing. And it all just gently moves and rotates around. Um, each of the rings and each of the kind of spheres have draconic writing on them. Anybody who can read draconic, um, the central sphere, is the it says material plane. The two smaller spheres, it says Feywild and Shadowfell. The inner ring is inner planes, and then the outer ring is the outer planes. Um, and this appears to be a model of the planar universe. Um, uh, of those of you who understand magic, this is a map of, of how the planes function in, in this universe. Cool. 
Uh, oh my goodness, but, that's yeah. incredible. The, as you say that, Zeke, you hear a voice coming from a balcony above. Yes, incredible. I cannot... I can read the words, but their meaning is lost on me. I know it is important. I know that once, once I tried to understand something about this place and this, this device, but I cannot remember it. I assume that you have fed, that you are clean. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness and generosity. It's the first time in a very long time that we've had a hot meal. It is not kindness. I could not bear your stench. (laughs) Either way, it's appreciated. (laughs) It is the most, it is the most deadly enemy that speaks in honeyed words, but hides blades behind its back. I have not yet decided if you are my enemies or not, but you are safe. Here, at least. If you truly are enemies of Strahd. He looks down at you all. um, And then he just steps off the balcony and floats down to the ground. Just like... Oh, he's so cool. (laughs) Um, Dog's body's got a toothpick. And he's just like... Honestly, mate. If if you decide to kill me now. Because, like, you know, whatever... I just want to say I'm going to die happy because that is the most food I have heard in I don't even know how long. So before I get emotional again, I know you don't like kindness, but thank you. I I can die happy now with a warm belly and not smelling of my own farts. It's great. Very well. I will consider this if you must be killed today. At least there will be no guilt that I have doomed you to an unpleasant demise. Pucker. Still. Now, I would hear from each of you. Who are you? Why are you here? What have you come to do? What, what, what devilry has sent you to me? You. Shall he I points go at first? Jesper. Yes, the Vistani. Nice. Your kind have brought many, doomed them to a fate in this place. It is by following some of you that I... Was it... Was it that I came here? Or was it something else? Was that me or someone that I sent to you? Speak! Why are you here? Who are you? I am Jesper. I am a Vistani. I was born here, under the curse of Strahd. Tutored by Madam Eva. Eva. To be... Eva. Go on. To travel to a different plane in the hopes that... With destiny on our side to gather the right people to end this curse. End the curse. End. End the curse. Strahd. You speak of Strahd. Of course, the mists. Him, you cannot kill Strahd. Everything. He is too powerful. Why would you hope to accomplish such a foolish mission? It is hopeless. The readings have taught us that there is hope. Readings? And it has led what us readings? to the first... Taroka. The teachings that Madame Eva, through her wisdom, has given me guidance through the power of the cards to lead us to the weaknesses and the relics that can help us defeat Strahd, and this is one of them, and I hold up the the handle of the Sun Sword. A broken sword is no match for a vampire lord. I light it again for him. Ah! Ah, sunlight! Sunlight, yes. A weapon. Weapon most powerful. Magic, magic, relic, magic weapon. You have found something of true value, but... If you carry this, if you carry this, you are Vistani, but you carry a weapon that Strahd cannot stand. Very well. Have you been outside in a long time? Me? I wonder most nights. I am... Why? Why do I... 
wander. I am searching for something, but but it is... Uh, I cannot remember what I am searching for. Something... No, 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 I cannot... Perhaps you, perhaps you, Vistani, I will trust you for now. You carry a weapon. You carry a weapon against the devil. Very well. But what of you? You, dog, this bestial creature uh, that you have now cleaned and bathed, but there is something about you that is unnatural. I can sense celestial blood, but something more, something darker. Who are you? Why are you here? Why am I here? Um, the name's Dog's Body, at least that's my name now. Uh, I came here, I don't know how many moons ago, maybe years now. I was part of the 14th Battalion of the Order of the Asimar. We called ourselves Asimar. Kelimvor's Hand. Kelimvor? Kelimvor, name? Why is this name? I remember it. It is the name of... Uh, who is Kelimvor? He's a god, like many others. Yes. And yes. we were part of his... His, his his arm of justice, I suppose. And we came here to to investigate this Strahd, to try and figure out what was going on, to dispense justice and bring light. And, uh... Yeah. You I was, failed. Yeah. And, uh... I was just a private, you know? I was a nobody. And... I watched slowly as one by one everyone in our battalion was picked off and soldier turned against soldier. My captain, I thought she would get us out of here and she there died. Is no escape. You cannot get out of here, can you? No. You've been trapped here as I have been trapped here, sent on a foolish mission to destroy a creature that cannot be destroyed. Pretty much the same, and the last of my battalion I saw torn apart. Torn he apart comes up by... to you, dog's body, and he puts his hands on the side of your head, and he's looking deep into your eyes. Continue. Uh, my captain, um, I thought she'd get us out of here. She was brave and she was wise, but she was too trusting, and eventually... The lieutenant turned on her and quite literally fed her to the wolves. As Strahd's was I. Wolves. No. No, not Strahd's wolves. You speak of others. But your sadness, your tragedy, that is real. Your eyes, they're like my eyes. Mad eyes. Well, it's the only way to survive here, isn't it? A single tear. Very well, dog's body. You are not my enemy. You have known the same pain that I have known. He turns and leaves you for a second. He looks at Rose. And you... You are from... A very different place you are from. Where are you from? Who are you? Rose Fernandi. I travel around and I am far from home. I lost my brother to a beast. And since then, I've dedicated myself to ridding the world of unnatural creatures. A cleric helped me put my brother to rest, and for a while I, I travelled with her. She needed someone to protect her. I had some skill with a bow. 
I've traveled, I've learned about creatures, I've fought creatures. And then she needed to come here. The cards told her to come here. As Jesper had said, I traveled here with Shadow and she was taken from me by Strad. Shadow, Shadow in the night. Shadow, shadow beyond the veil. A cleric. You say? Yes. What god did this shadow serve? Can I take out the beetle that she had? Because I think uh -huh. Rose would just have kept that on her and just yeah, shown yeah, him yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he goes to snatch it hers. from you. Would you would you try and stop him? Like, I think she would flinch back instinctively first and then... <laughs> hold it out to him you have to understand that this is this is worth a lot to me now he holds it I have no intention of keeping your trinket but <gasps> and he looks at the back of the scarab shadow indeed why does this dark eclipse it it is familiar to me this darkened moon, this blot of night, this shadowed star. Shaw, enemy of Mistara, enemy of my friend Elminster. Your shadow is more dangerous than you knew. And he goes to give it back to you. Not to me. She came here with the same purpose, and that was to rid this place of Strad. Hmm. And so now I have to continue. You cannot for rid her, this place of for Strad. my brother, for my father, for every wrongdoing that has been done from these unnatural creatures. This creature has done more than you could count. It has affected many brothers, many husbands, many fathers, very many mothers. I, I came here to stop him as you did. I came to kill Strahd. We fought. We fought. I, I see the battlements of Ravenloft, the castle in my mind. We fought for hours. He chased me through the corridors and across the roofs flying through the air as my magic he it was like I was hitting nothing even my ability to stop time did not seem to err him water I fell amongst water he could not pursue and I lost something I lost something the thing that I am looking for that I cannot remember very well Rose friend of shadow who served the dark Shah you, I do not you believe lost you are something in a river I know that rivers are something that vampires cannot flowing water they can't they that can't is why he could not flowing water he could not pursue. I I threw myself into the waterfall. Yes, a waterfall. I tumbled through the air. My body was broken and bruised. And something was lost to me. What was it? And he kind of almost seems to snap. Asmodeus! You! You are a servant of a devil! Why do you travel with one who has lost, one who has suffered, and one who seeks to, one who is an enemy of Strahd? Why are you here, devil child? I'm here for my sister, Zeki. She brought me to this land. Hired me to this land as her bodyguard, her protector. I lost her for many years, lost to the military, to fighting, to warfare. I forgot what family means. 
I found family in Barovia. I found Zeki again. I also found Asmodeus, a new enemy of Strahd. This blade is forged from the blade of Nessus, one that claimed Madam Ava and was destined to claim you too. Nessus, Nessus. His hand runs along the outer, the outer ring of the model in the middle, and then his finger stops. And where his finger stops, you can see that there are ending indentations along this outer ring, and there is draconic written on all of them. And he points it. And when you realize that the one he's pointing at says Nessus in draconic. Nessus. Final lair of the nine hells. The realm of Esmodeus. I know this name. I was... You say I was etched upon this blade? And now you carry a, a weapon forged from its remnants? Have you come to slay me, dragon man? Child of Timanthia? If I struck you once with the blade, you would vanish instantly. If the blade wanted you dead, you would be dead. We're talking. And you, sister that he has come to protect. Oh, I feel the power in you. I may be a shell of whom I once was, but I once commanded magic, magic, and I were one. I have glanced at the weave. I have sat at the foot of the goddess of magic herself. I see that dark power in you. The same power as in the mists. Why? Why are you here? Why do you have this power now? I, I, I came to help. The, the same as my friends with me. The, the cards, you? we followed the cards here. You do not look I... like a killer, child. Did you come here no. to destroy Strahd? I thought I could do good. I... I'm a worshipper of Lyra. Bringer of joy, light, laughter. I thought I could help with with that alone, but I was naive. I I was weak. I I fell to a vampire spawn. And you have died here. I have. And I found the mists. Mists found me, and they, they brought me back with the promise of power, with the ability to perhaps do more. The Mists, they have the same cause as we do, to destroy Strahd. With that power behind me, I hope to harness that and do, do more. Do more to help. Child. I will say this, even though I am mad, I know that these mists, the powers of this place, they are old. They are old and they are powerful. And until now they have allowed Strahd to rule this place as a dreadlord. If they seek to destroy him now, it is because they have, he has lost their favor. Be careful. I have known many that have gained power through deals and bargains. It is no replacement for true magic. You too. You too. You may not be my enemies. You may be enemies of Strahd, but... I fear that the two of you will bring just as much evil into this world. But you are not my foes. You are not here to kill me. So you are safe for now. I grow so tired, so weary of this place, this prison. The cold of the grave, it clings to me. I just want to be free. Why can I not find what I am looking for? And he smashes like the, the model and sends it clattering to the ground. Uh, and then he just kind of scrunches up into a ball and you can hear him just sobbing to himself. 
<laughs> Who did this to Why? you? Strahd! Who else? He fought me. I fell into the river. I lost something that I needed. And then I was trapped here for so long. I am not meant to be here. I am bound for another world where I did things where I did good. But here I am powerless. I cannot defeat Strahd, and I cannot be free, and without the thing that I need, I cannot be complete. We might be able to help if you can recall where you fell in the water. The force. The waterfall near the castle. The water, it was cold, like a chill to my bones. I felt it through my body. The rocks broke my limbs. They tore at my flesh. And I emerged not a man, but a broken toy. I fled here. This place i remembered how to make this place still i had learned it yes i i learned it along with my other magic i remember the formulas i remember the words the gestures but i used to know so much more how do i not remember why do i not remember more can i um uh yeah uh... Go on. Eh, there's nothing I can really do. Yeah. Other than like. I mean, do you want to make an intelligence oh, check for me? Yes, but you're a traveled. You're a bard. You've traveled a fair bit. I'd say. I don't think anybody else. Maybe Rose, actually. Um, if you make a. Just be. Make a. Just a plain up intelligence check. So just roll d20 plus intelligence. Would um. Would Dog's body, like, knowing a bit of Barovia, and, and would he know anything of, like, falls, like a waterfall by the castle? Oh, yeah. You you and Jesper definitely... Uh, there's only really one waterfall in Barovia, which mm. is the Sir Falls. Um, yeah. It flows right next to Castle Ravenloft. Like, you and you and Jesper know that place without a doubt. Okay. Um, I only got a any? nine. A nine? Nope. I'm afraid that everything he's saying, it's just, it's mirrored in this kind of language. He doesn't really seem to understand what he's saying. Um, Trot? Uh, I don't think Jesper would. Uh, he knew about Sir Falls. It's more a case of trying to figure out what's wrong with him. I don't think he's Yeah, well, that's why I said, know. make an intelligence check for me. Because there's one thing I might be able to okay. tell you that, like, from based on what he said, you might pick up on. Nine. Nine? No. It's uh oh same as Rose. It's just all muddled in everything that he's uh he's kind of babbled on about. Um obviously as players, if you think like, hang on, it sounds like he's talking about there, then by all means you're allowed to have those assumptions. Don't feel that you can't. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, that's that's fine. Then you have no idea. Um but yeah, he goes very quiet. He eventually picks himself off off a chair, he moves over to a very large chair in front of the fire and just sort of slumps into it his bald head kind of resting against the back leather and he just sort of like leans into it and his eyes seem to just go soft i'm tired i must sleep must remember my magic for tomorrow in case more enemies come you may rest there are beds you are safe here. Strahd cannot see in my walls. His ears cannot hear my whispers. I am safe. I am safe. I am home. You see his eyes close. Hmm. Fucking... Fucking... Just loving the roleplay right now. Just... Oh. <laughs> Man, yeah. Last week we were joking yeah, about cool. Zim Zim Zambalam. No, it turns out this dude is so much cooler. No, this is emo yeah. Zim Zim Zimbalam. This is goth goth Zimbalam. No, he's no, he's so far from Zim Zim. <laughs> goth Balam. Oh, so well done. What do you guys do? We get some rest. Uh, I will. Yeah, take his. Uh, 
uh, generosity and rest. There um, are grand bedrooms for anybody who wants one. One one each, if you so re- desire. Um, four poster bed, shit. silken sheets, feathered pillows. Um, oh my god. <laughs> amazing. Um, Luxury. As we're going up to the bedrooms, mm-hmm. can I like, can Dog's Body like kind of tug on Rose's sleeve? Mm-hmm. Just like, ah. Uh, <clears throat> Can can I just have a quick and quiet word? Uh, sure. <clears throat> just, you know, we were speaking all our truths down there. Couldn't help but overhear the bit about your brother? Do you mind telling me what happened there? He was attacked by a werewolf. He didn't survive the attack. Ooh. It got away before we could kill it. Um, one. Very sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Um, how do you feel about werewolves? <laughs> I'm just gonna get. Question. I'm just gonna get a combat tracker <laughs> ready, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Kim, why do you do this? Um, not good. Wolves in general. I hear a wolf, and I kind of it takes me back to the day when I lost Ben. I notice you're a bit of a hunter, yeah. Um, and now that I actually look at you and some of your weapons, they seem very specifically catered towards the wolfy types. <coughs> a lot of silver there. Um, guessing, guessing you've been hunting werewolves. Not just them, but I have in the past. Any good at tracking them? Would Rose would know, wouldn't she? By now. There's elements. You've 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 fought werewolves. You've seen what happens. I think that given Dog's Body's current line of questioning, the fact that he is very hairy, he seems to have very strong animal senses. Did um, say that he just lost not... his captain to being torn apart by yeah. wolves. Torn torn apart by wolves and things like that. And the and you know, himself. the way that the mad mage spoke to him, the way that like Irene has spoken to him. You can definitely pick up on the fact that, like, there's definitely something here. <laughs> I think, like, I don't know if you would know if he is a full werewolf. He doesn't seem to have any of the other traits of werewolves. Most werewolves lose their sense of self much more. They tend to be much uh, less in control of themselves than Dog's Boy is. So if he is a dog, if he is a werewolf, then he has managed to retain a way more control than you've ever seen. You were fed to wolves. <clears throat> yep. How are you still here? I wish I knew. Um, I don't really have an answer for you, I'm afraid. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, Except that I like you, and I think you're really nice, and I hope you think I'm really nice too. And he doesn't notice before that you had someone mentioned curses, and you said that you've already got enough of that. <clears throat> yep. You seem very in control of yourself, which is why I'm calm right now. However, I do need you to tell me the full details. Um, uh, I need everyone... to be able to trust you. 
Where's everyone else at this point? Have they all like... You keep it down out there, I'm trying to sleep. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Apparently you are outside of Xeros' room in the corridor. Imagine a, a hotel corridor, and you are stood I mean, in the hallway like... having a conversation. We're, we're like, yeah, I mean, I guess, unless anyone else is, I feel like we're gone. Because I feel like if I heard uh, Dog's body just like, what happened to your brother? I'd just be like, well, we're stopping in the hallway and listening to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the yeah. tea, girl? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I also think you probably hear like a kind of like clunk from a, behind a door. Um, and Irina opens in, is like, oh, I'm sorry, what are you guys talking? Like, tries to play it off, like, I'm just gonna go get a drink. Uh, yeah. Oh, is something going on? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Rose, do you wanna, can I just show you this thing in my room, whichever one of these is my room? Uh, can I, I just wanna Me ask and Jesper you, peek like, from the same room. Yeah, I just wanna. <laughs> <laughs> can I, Stop feeling um... the shipping. <laughs> I. I'd rather <sighs> you just it just showed me something here if, if everyone, necessary. Every, I, I, no. I don't really mind. We're a group anyway. We're in Barovia. Okay. If there's something you have to say, we've got a dragonborn who has a pact with Asmodeus. Honestly, I'm just trying to survive at this point. Look, and I'm very much into that. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want to do anything bad. I've I've made no pets with anyone except maybe Kellenvor, but you know, look what fucking happened with that. Um yeah. Uh <laughs> I I don't know what I can do, lady. I I just I'm sorry about your brother and I, you make me very nervous. I'm very, very nervous. <laughs> I mean, Rose, that alone says a lot. That the fact that you know most werewolves they're so territorial, they're so alpha dominated. This kind of passive behavior is yeah, like nothing you've ever seen. You you've never encountered a werewolf to behave in this way. What what can I do? I, I'm at your mercy. If you want me to leave, I'll leave. I don't want people to be scared around me. I don't, people scare me. I, I don't know. Have you attacked people? No. N not, not to my knowledge, no. Ever since, ever since I woke up and I first discovered what had happened to me, I've tried to stay away. I've been living in the woods. I get, I, I try and just pick off the occasional sheep or that's about as close, you know. I mean, I had some of those cakes, but that was mainly because I rustled through someone's bag when they weren't looking. I've tried to keep myself to myself. This has been an interesting time and a difficult time. I've lost someone else now. And you, you have it. So at the moment, I'm willing to let this slide, but I am nervous to be in the company of someone like you, someone who could have killed my brother but you seem to be in control. The creature that killed Ben. It it was so quick, so violent, and there was no chance that I could I couldn't even draw an arrow before that thing shot back into the woods and it was too late for Ben. I, I just I understand that you have suffered. You're trapped here or now. You've been through horrible things. I'm not saying that all monsters need to be in the same category here. Werewolves were monsters to me before now, but someone who can control that, I don't know. Time will have to tell. 
Well, thank you for giving me a chance. And all I can say is I'm scared of you too. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I've never been around this many people for a long time and I fully expect to be alone again very soon. And I'm sorry what happened to your brother. I really am. That's not right. And I'll, I'll leave you alone. It's okay. You don't have to worry about me. And You don't have to leave me alone. Just be honest. If being around people, if anything changes, you need to need to take care of ourselves too. Yeah. I get that. Don't worry. Old dog's buddy gets that. And yet, I go to like, kind of pat your shoulder, but then I just stop before I touch you and just give you a nod and turn away and go into whatever room. Dog's buddy. Uh, Irina will... Go on. Yeah? Thank you for being honest. It's all right. Just, just, you guys seem to have a problem with honesty. I, I just, I would have said sooner. I just didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know. So, yeah. Not many people do. These guys do, but probably because they get the sound of wolves. And Shadow knew because she was the one who laid Ben to rest. She sounds like a cool person. Wish I could have met her. She was. Unfortunately, you might still get the chance to. Wait, Just what? Just not in the form that... If a vampire cat does come to see us... Which she probably will. My goodness, you guys. Oh, you guys. So many stories to tell and you've only been here less than a week. I'm done. Out. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Just... The last thing that she said to me was that I was to bury her body. She would not want to be that way. And so I have to complete that. I need to put her to rest. We will. And I'd appreciate strong uh, fire. Uh... Irina will look over to you, Rose. Uh, Rose, if you don't want to be on your own, I'm happy to stay with you if you want. If, or if you want to be on your own, then that's fine as well. But just want you to know if you need someone there. I think a little bit of time on my own would be great at the moment. Of course. Uh, she and nods. Go to bed. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Ismark will kind of look off. In this whole exchange where everyone's kind of been listening in, Irina and Ismark at the door, Ismark is definitely, like, looking at Dog's body a little bit differently after all of that as well. Like, you can see that he's perhaps a little wary. He hasn't said anything, but kind of like Rose, he's kind of on edge. Um, and wary. he just looks at Irina and nods. Uh, and then, I think I'm going to stay up for a bit. I'll just keep a, an eye out. And then he basically leans up against the wall outside her door and kind of plants himself there. Um, anything from anybody else? Uh, I think uh, Zeki would quietly uh, go into her room, but mm -hmm. she's been. A this is the first time I guess she's been alone since mm -hmm. since You've she's been to Barovia. So yeah. yeah, so I think because she can't sleep, she's just gonna pace around trying to think of what to do. <laughs> Yeah. Is there anything in particular, uh, like anything like that she's doing or that you want to kind of like do or like spells or anything like that? I, th I think she's just trying to figure out where, where, where to go from here because she knows she needs to go to Mount Gakis at some point, but mm -hmm. whether that whether the rest of the team would want to go, whether she'd want to even take them because that might even that might be something that yeah. they're not going to want to do. Cause it's a mists thing and uh. <laughs> so that's, that's a dilemma that Zeki's got to work out I'm afraid yeah so I think she's just gonna pace around think and scribble in a sketchbook and try and come up with a plan mm -hmm. of sorts sure. um, Zeki being the only one awake 
late at night. Unless there's anything from Xeros or Jesper before I go on. Um, I think if uh, Ziki is going into her room and she's ahead of me and she like closes the door behind her, I'm kind of like... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I'm like slowly reaching for the door hand. I'm like, she's never been left alone, but also the shit she's been through. So he'll go to the next room. Like, well, I think because Ismark was waiting outside Irina's door, <clears throat> Ismark looks at you about to follow, and you just hear it. <clears throat> and he's just staring at what you're doing. She can protect herself. She can. Sisters need time away from their brothers from time to time. He just glares. We do anything for our sisters. We would. Especially to those who hurt them. You better not touch Ziki then. <laughs> like you said, she can defend herself. Good night, Ismark. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Zeros. <laughs> yeah, he just waits, lets you go to bed. Um, <laughs> you guys get a long wow. rest. <laughs> you guys Jesus may take a long Christ, rest. A... I can't handle all this... this sass on all sides. Jesus. <laughs> Look, Ismark was your bro, and you betrayed him. He, Ismark, friendship with Ismark ended. <laughs> Dog's body likes You're just going to be lucky if you <laughs> still get that achievement. Um, after you guys finish your long rest, as the evening of Barovia uh, nears its well, nears its end, as sunrise is once again coming up. You hear the Mad Mage. Now, now, you must leave now. Something has happened. Pow. Power like I've never felt. My magic. Uh, now! And then suddenly the world shifts and warps around you and you feel yourselves thrown out into the cold, wintry air of Barovia. Um, your gear is with you. You have everything around you. Anything that you gain from the mansion that wasn't the you know clothes or anything like that, things like the, the maps, any books or anything that you took, any food, doesn't exist. Um, you have your own gear, you have your own clothes, they're all mended, they're freshly repaired, cleaned, all your own gear has been sorted out, um, but anything else is lost. And <laughs> immediately, <laughs> as you arrive, and you feel the rush of this, you know, the cold Barovian air, you can see that the sky is not the dull grey that it always has been. The sky is not the dull overcast misery of Barovia far in the east in the direction of Castle Ravenloft and the village of Barovia on the fourth day of your adventures here in Barovia uh. the sky is blood red and thick orange crimson clouds spread out from that direction and any of you with any magical presence can feel power radiating from it. Ziki, the earth, the land, the souls of the people of the village of Barovia, you can feel them burning. And that is where we'll end today's episode of Curse of Strahd. Holy shit! Oh, shit. All right. Oh, Strahd is pissed! Oh, he's on the <laughs> rampage. He, he laid down a a ultimatum Promise. to the village of Barovia. <laughs> it and it it's was been not four hurt. days. Yeah, Jesus. Four days, yeah. Hey, Mark, by the way, I know I said it in the episode, but fucking I love this dude. This mad wizard. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank the role playing for him you, was dude. incredible. That was thank the you guys. Was actually kind of... It, Go on. How good you are at mad, but seemingly super smart wizards. Really old, <laughs> grizzled. Mad but sad. Mad <laughs> wizards. 
play. Um, I think it's quite easy. Like they give you, they give you quite a lot of like information about this guy, and it's kind of easy to kind of take that and kind of think of the things that he might say and and do and stuff like that. Um, Very cool. So yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It's, I, I like doing this. It brings it's my old thesp coming out. It's the the inner <laughs> thespian is like, I must perform to you. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, there's the voice. There it is. Yeah. Wizard! You I'm shall wizard. not pass! Yeah. Ian um, yeah, it's also, yeah, Very just cool. like, uh, I don't know, easy to kind of play off that madness with a bit of sadness as well. He is kind of a tragic character. Uh, that he is very powerful, but also very helpless and very vulnerable, uh, which is fun. But I, honestly, also, you guys. Round of applause today. I think you guys all did some fantastic RP, especially uh, Kim and Katie. Loved that bit with oh, Rose yeah. and Dog's Body. Fantastic. About time. Yeah. About time, innit? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, Since you created yeah, you him, all... I was like, you fucker. Yeah, well, <laughs> as soon as. You little uh, shit. <laughs> we've known about it for a while, Kim and I, and obviously. There, in battle, there could have been a transformation that could have triggered this, which would have gone in a very different direction. But I yeah. think hearing the story of Ben, that made sense that Dog's body would go, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this. So, no, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. And banana. Yeah. It's a new one. And I think, I think, uh, with Rose having to have accepted Xeros and Ziki now after what they've been through, <laughs> and but That's then also really seeing Xeros. Oh, well, but then but he doesn't make it easy. Does he? Yeah. He doesn't Zeke make does. it Zeke is a little prickly porcupine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the um, slowest burn you'll ever she... meet. <laughs> she, like, well, Dog's body has fought with them and is clearly on the same side and has been really wreck. nice. So it's like... He's got a good heart. They can't really put him in <laughs> the same... Yeah. 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 Can't put him in the doghouse. Um, cool. <laughs> Don't put me in a doghouse. No. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff all around, everybody. Um, bit of an earlier yeah, end, real. but it was just too good a point to stop. So, mm. yeah. as always. Fair enough. I'll end on a no, good note. Um, yeah. Also, hey, Kim. Yes. You did it. Hey! You did it well, hasn't finished yet. yet. I've it. still you... got one know, more. I haven't finished, but it's fine. How bored are you? Done. I can do so... I've got so many tabs open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been on Reddit this whole time, just catching up on Reddit while yeah, we've been doing this. Yeah, it's nice to... I mean, I was... I kind of, like... Letting go is hard. Uh, I was making sure Aww. Kim was doing alright all the time. But, uh... uh yeah, I was monitoring the stream, but you did very <laughs> yeah, good, Kim. Well done. The... Very proud dad. Thank you. Were well, the audio levels okay for everyone? Put it in the stream chat and I'll check it after. In the... I can't see the stream chat now because I don't want to tip yeah, my internet over and crash it. No. But yeah, if you've got any feedback about the audio levels, leave it in the stream chat and I'll check the VOD later and I'll take your for notes Sunday. on board for Sunday. Because I have to I do this on Sunday. I have to do it um, without, trot. without trot on Sunday. So that's the real test of like, oh, oh shit. Sense. Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Did you feel that you could um, focus more and like listen more, Trot? Now that you didn't have to also constantly check the stream. Yeah, I can't multitask for shit, so it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, I can't single task. It's, uh, yeah, it's not easy. I had the map <laughs> ready shit, as everyone. well. Like, look, I had this ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, I had that ready is. as well. But yeah, look, that's me. That, that's I can do that. I'm in control now. You can do it. Uh, I believe. But, right. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Um, yeah, so we will be back on Sunday for Rois. We will be out without Trotty Boy, um, mm. but I think that that should be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, it'll be fine. I just have to roleplay Lucius returning to Rois. That's fine. Um, but yeah, come and check out Rois on Sunday. Tommy Boy, anything that we need to read out? Any messages? Well, for starters, this this uh, next episode of Rois is a brand new chapter. So, yes. if you've got people who want to check out Eroes, now is the time to bring them in. It's the beginning of a whole new chapter. There's going to be a big old recap at the start. Um, yep. Show them this episode because it's big. Stuff's happening. Shit's big going, one. you know? Something's mm. No pressure. Um, no pressure if I break I'm it. I'm so excited. So excited. No go home. No. So much has happened. But, so much has happened in Eroes. Yeah. Um, but we have a message uh, from Chromium246. Hello, everyone. Hoping you all had a good stream and no one has killed each other yet. Lol. Bob Squad for me, so I guess I will find out later. We're clear. We're good. We're good. We're clear. Um, yeah, we're good. We're good. Nightjar. Uh, Dog's Body. 
is far too relatable crying over a surprise spa day. <laughs> that is literally me in real life, by the way. Dog's body is just an extension of myself, honestly. I cry yeah, over the food. food and... Like, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I want to eat all of it and I can't. Yeah. <laughs> That's can't me. can't eat all the food. Yeah. Um, Varus, $10 dues but no message. Thank you very much. Reika Sayuri with a half hundo. Uh, just wanted to thank you thank all you. for the good times. I've been able uh, I've been able to watch Curse of Strahd live since I've been stuck working from home. It has kept me from going insane. XO, XO, XO. Well, Glad to hear it. Thank you very much, Reika Sayuri. I'm sure I said that incorrectly. Nightjar again. Uh, fucking hell, all this delicious lore and wonderful RP. More, please. Um, 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 um. Money, please. <laughs> Money, please. Money, please. <laughs> Money, please. Uh, and Ravager 4. Rose, my brother was killed by a monster. Dog's body. Okay, but like, what kind of monster? Rose, <laughs> you are. Dog's body. Okay, so funny story. Mark, evil grin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it went down. Funny story about that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that grin the moment that story started. Um, and I believe that is all they wrote. Well, um, we so do. You wrote everybody. We do have gift subs you, as well. Uh, we have lots Thank of you. gift subs from Sad Pair, Legaratus, The Popper 8080, uh, Reika Sayuri, and T Rich 1, um, which Nightjar pinged you about in the staff room. I didn't and read you it. Didn't well, respond. Thank you. I didn't so she said, <laughs> fucking Tom. Fucking yeah, guy. That's how it goes. Um, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you for all the donations as well. Um, as mentioned, we will be back on Sunday for Erois. Um, until then, that's it from us. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye, everybody! Bye. Click the button now. Bye, Bye. Bye Dr. Nick! <laughs>